Hello everyone. I am Dr. Dale Rodericks. I am a cancer surgeon practicing in Andheri West. Uh, today we will be talking about uh, head and neck cancers, predominantly the oral cancers. So what is oral cancer? Oral cancer is nothing but the cancer of some part of the oral cavity, which may be of your lip, maybe of the tongue, maybe of the cheek, maybe of the floor of mouth, or the gums, or the palate and various other parts of the oral cavity. So why are we talking about oral cancer today? Oral cavity is the uppermost part of the gastrointestinal system. It is covered by a squamous stratified epithelium. Most of the cancers, more than 90% of the cancers are squamous carcinomas. Uh, this cancer occurs more in males because of, uh, because of habits such as uh, tobacco and alcohol which we will be talking later. It is the second most common cancer in India to breast cancer. First is breast cancer, then comes oral cancer. And is the eighth most common cancer worldwide. It is increasing nowadays and it's an aggressive cancer. So we need to talk about this and be aware about oral cancers. India has one third of the cancers around the world. And the global can data of 2018 says there were 3,54,000 cases detected this year, last year. And India has 1,19,000, that's about one third of the cases which have been detected. So the statistics say that uh, one person dies every 10 minutes in India. So in India, the most common uh, the most highest prevalence of oral cancers is in Uttar Pradesh but Maharashtra is not very far so even Maharashtra we have a very good number of patients who are detected with oral cancer. So what are the risk factors uh, associated with this oral cancer and who, who, who can develop oral cancers? So any person using tobacco, tobacco may be in the form of smokeless tobacco that is snuff or in pan masala or the smoking form of tobacco that is cigarettes, BDs, hookah and e-cigarettes, e-pipe, cigars all these are smoking forms of tobacco can cause uh, oral cancer. <coughs> then is, next risk factor is alcohol. Alcohol itself uh, increases the risk of cancer by changing the genetic uh, lining of your uh, oral cavity. It also helps the tobacco to penetrate through the mucosa and reach and damage faster. The next risk factor is supari that is betel nut. Supari is uh, the common betel nut which is used in palm masala which causes submucosal fibrosis of the oral cavity which is a precancerous condition. The other risk factors are uh, human papilloma virus which is caused due to oral sex. Human papilloma virus uh, spreads through unprotected oral sex. So it causes cancer of the oral cavity mainly of the oropharynx. The next risk factor is sharp teeth or ill-fitting dentures. So if there's a sharp tooth which is constantly eroding against the lining of any part of the oral cavity, uh, it will form a traumatic ulcer first and that also later on will become uh, cancerous also. So what, are, what will be the symptoms of oral cancer? Oral cancer symptoms uh, usually are a non-healing ulcer in the oral cavity such as on the tongue, on the cheek, decreased mouth opening, a sudden increase in the sudden increase in Christmas that is uh, mouth opening has decreased suddenly or there is bleeding, or there is a painless loosening of teeth, or there is a neck swelling. So you can have a bunch of symptoms. So oral cancer can have any of these symptoms or it can have them, them together as well. The next uh, thing we do after we see such symptoms is to detect what whether it is a cancer or not. So what do we do? We do a biopsy. Biopsy is nothing but a small piece of tissue which we take out from the ulcer to diagnose cancer under the microscope. 
if this comes positive then we go ahead with a CT scan or an MRI depending on which part of the oral cavity is affected. For cheek we prefer the CT scan, for tongue usually we prefer an MRI. So what are the treatment options here? Our treatment options are surgery of the primary lesion that is the tongue, cheek, palate, lip, floor of mouth, wherever it is, it needs a wide local excision. Beyond that, uh, we need to control the spread of the cancer into the neck. So we need to remove the lymph nodes from the neck. That's called the neck dissection. And the third most important part is reconstruction of oral cavity. That is if someone's tongue is removed, we need to reconstruct the tongue. If someone's cheek is removed, we need to reconstruct the cheek. So a plastic surgeon would be involved in the reconstruction of the uh, oral cavity once the main cancer is out. If your cancer is too advanced, we need to cover you with either radiation or chemotherapy radiation. It depends on a number of factors which we decide on the histopathology report. So how do we avoid uh, oral cancers? How can we refrain from tending towards getting an oral cancer? It's very simple. You avoid alcohol, avoid tobacco products. Your sharp teeth should be smoothened. Your denture should be replaced or refitted or shapened towards your oral cavity such that no ulcer is forming. So this is in short about oral cancer. If you need any other queries regarding uh, head and neck cancers or oral cancers, you can contact me directly through alibrate.com. Thank you very much.